Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to create a perfect circle for the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Roblox Studio open. The first step in creating a circle within Roblox Studio is to go ahead and add a part. And not just any part, you're going to click on the drop down section there and you're going to click on cylinder. And so we've created a cylinder and so I can see it here. And then what you're going to do is you can zoom into the cylinder and I'm using my keyboard W, S, D, and D to zoom in and out. And once I have the cylinder selected, I can go ahead and rotate the cylinder so that maybe it's facing more my direction. And then I'm going to go ahead and scale it. I'm going to make this large enough that the player could walk through. So let's go ahead and make this a, a pretty large cylinder. So now we have the first part of the cylinder here. Now the next thing, now you could also scale this to be longer too or shorter. I'm going to do a shorter cylinder for this one. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to click on this and press Control D and that's going to duplicate it. So you see on the Explorer tab it added another part. So with that part selected I'm going to have the move here and so you can see there now are two of those. So now I've got two cylinders. Now let's go ahead and change the color for the first one so you can see the difference here. So let's do a red on that one. And then this doesn't matter what this color is. For the second cylinder, I'm going to go to scale. I'm going to make it slightly smaller than the first cylinder. So I'm just going to go ahead and shrink that down a little bit. And then now I'm going to move it up a little. Okay, so now when I do that, I'm going to go ahead and then scale this. And I'm going to go ahead and make it nice and long so you can see it's uh, how big it is in relation to the other one. Let's make that maybe a tiny bit smaller. And let's go ahead and scale that. Now, when you're scaling this, you might want to have more control over how big or small it is. And what you can do is when you go to model on the top here, see move here? I have it set at 0.1 studs. If I were to keep that at one stud, so if I try to move this, it's going to move at one stud now. Uh, and so if you want to do a nice fine motion, then uh, you can go ahead and again, go up to model and then put this at, you know, a different number, maybe 0.1 or 0.01 or something like that. Okay, so now that I have that where I would like it, I'm going to go ahead and make this negative space. And in order to do that, this is going to cut the hole through the other part. So I'm going to go ahead and click on negate. So with the second part selected, the larger part, I'm going to click on negate. And so now it is negative space. And then what I'm going to do is then select both parts. And then I'm going to click on union. So you can see I was able to create a perfect circle here with those two cylinders. Now you can go ahead and click on this. Now this is a, a model now. So you can see this, you can change the name if you would like. Uh, and then if you would like to on the bottom, you can make sure that it's anchored uh, and that way it won't move on you. And it can collide, you can have that on or off. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this so that you can see that it worked. Okay, so there we have the circle and I'm gonna go ahead and walk through it. And so you, you see I was able to create this uh, perfect circle with uh, the two cylinders. Now, when you're creating your circles, you can do several things with this. Uh, now that it's one part, I can go ahead and change the uh, scale of it if I would like. I can make it smaller or larger. So I'm able to make it larger or smaller right here. And then same thing, if I need to rotate it, I can rotate it any way I would like uh, on any of the axes. So let's say I would like to change the inside of this part of the circle. I, I would need to go up to model and then separate. And then that way I have my two parts again. And then that way I can go ahead and click on the negative part and then rescale if I needed to uh, and then move it around if needed. Let's go ahead and move this. And so that way I can change the entire circle again. So I'm going to click both and then click on union and now I've got that. And so that looks a little better to me uh, So uh, for what I'm looking for. So you now know how to create a perfect circle within Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available, but I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.